Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think this saying is universal. You can find it, I guess, in any, <clears throat> any country or any culture that knows what fire is and the dealt with fire. And that is, you know, there's, there's no smoke without fire. So if you see smoke, must be a fire. And uh, the other thing is, um, you know, that uh, if you, that is not a, not a problem, you just don't raise the, the issue. So it's like I'm going down the street and I see my neighbor and uh, I will tell the neighbor, hey neighbor, out of, out of the blue, hey neighbor, uh, I, 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 I promise I will not uh, rob your house or I promise I will not beat your wife. Where is this coming from? You have those thoughts, obviously. And why would you say that? You, you defend yourself, defend something that is not even there, allegedly, right? And I'm talking about Ukraine now and about uh, the southern Ukraine, where you uh, probably are very aware that Ukrainians are in a full swing in their uh, counterattack, counteroffensive. But then you have the smoke and must be a fire there. And you have this article, among others, where you have to pay attention to the semantics and therefore looking at them you have to figure out that that's, that's actually they want to say you know what the russians are and they're offensive and they kick their butts they're not going to say that they're going to say something else you know and this is one example of the smoke and the fire and the thing with uh, i'm going to rob your house i'm going to take care of your whatever so this article comes from the new voice of ukraine from august 6th 2022 Mikolaev governor rules out possible Russian capture of region. Now, if you look on the map, Mikolaev qualifies as a southern Ukrainian front or location. And if the Russians want to go towards uh, um, Odessa, they have to go through Mikolaev. So why would this guy just say, I rule out possible Russian capture of the region? That is... I will not beat you and I will not rob your house, okay? That means something happens over there. If you say they will not be able to capture this, that means the other, the other side is definitely trying and might be able to do it. So that tells me the Russians are in an offensive and they are not in a defensive as uh, many articles clearly tell us using the word uh, we are in an offensive, the, um, Russians are in a defensive or the troops retreat and all that. I don't rule out, you know, retreats and uh, all that. That happens, changes of position. That's normal in a war. But this is the title of this article from today. And it's 1.44 p.m. there. So let's see what this guy is saying. Russian troops will not be able to conquer Mykolaiv in the coming months. Regional government Vitaly Kim said in an interview with Ukrainian news outlet Glavcom on August. Now, could be that, you know, you feel so confident about your strength and your defensive uh, operational system that you just try to disperse the fears, saying that, well, I got so much um, military support here that the Russians going to need months to... To what? To capture the region. <laughs> so I will be able to resist months until they capture, capture the, reason, the, the region. So it could be that I feel so strong that don't worry guys, I assure you nothing will happen here. Or maybe the other thing I'm trying to, hey guys, the situation is desperate here, but no, no, they will not be able, we're strong enough. I don't know yet, but why would they even talk about it? If the Russians are running towards Moscow, why would you even bother to say that we're going to resist and they will not be able to take the, the region? Okay, I think I made my point on that thing. Let's continue and see what these guys are saying. While the front lines in southern Ukraine are rather stretched out and the situation remains, remains tense, that tells me that coming from the Ukrainians is not tense and, you know, it's not stretched out and the situation tense. I think those guys are coming because these guys minimize when they lose like anybody else and they maximize when they win. We won 
we destroy them where they probably barely beat the other guys and when they lose man we beat them but we didn't lose actually it was like a draw kind of you know Kim insisted that Ukraine has everything it had near Mykolaiv that's good to know should the Ukrainian offensive pick up pace and see them advance forward even a kilometer a day it would it would take them a month to reach Mykolaiv, said Kim. Did you hear that? <laughs> so he's not saying that they are running. He says, why would you say that? Why would you make noise about it? Why you would put this scenario if there's not actually happening, most likely? So should the Russians offensive pick up pace, pick up pace and see them advance forward, even a kilometer a day, it would take them it would take them where well, it would take them at least a month to cover 30 kilometers the government said governor said yeah that's true so you you're you're saying that in a month they will advance but slowly 30 kilometers in a month so you see uh, you can pick up out of this that they, they are coming but they're coming slowly according to the to him which probably there's coming faster than he tells us uh, and that's assuring uh, uh, assuming perfect conditions for them with everything working out and nothing for us it would still take them a month to reach Mykolaiv so don't worry guys you got a month in a month uh, I'm gone <laughs> uh, Kim said he thinks Moscow will first attempt to seize the rest of Kherson Oblast and I'm quoting maybe they do have plans to seize Mykolaiv in six months or so but it's simply impossible in the near future, Kim added. Well, and it says here that uh, it continues, not to mention Russians would first try to get, uh, attempting to achieve some sort of victory in um, Kherson Oblast. To the contrary, we're currently in itching, inching forward in Kherson Oblast, liberating it inch by inch. How could Moscow troops hope to mount an offensive? as their supply depots and command centers keep exploding while Russian generals refuse to cross the Dnipro River. So he tells me that, he tells us that uh, actually the guys are running in Kherson and uh, also he mentions, or at least this article mentions that the Russian attack on Mykolaiv resulted in at least 22 civilian casualties on August 5, according to local officials. So that means the Russians are bombarding Mykolaiv, but as always, 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 they just kill civilians and nothing else. Some geese and uh, mice and, uh, you know, whatever they got in the city, something like rats. So again, remember the, what the Amnesty International report stated that uh, they found that the military, the Ukrainian military positioned its uh, armed forces in... Um, around civilians and uh, therefore exposing the civilian population to Russian attack and killing. So when I see these 22 civilian casualties killed in Nikolaev, I'm wondering if the Russians just hit, you know, hospitals or residential areas just because they're criminals. I guess that's the message we have to get. But we don't because we don't read only one side. We read from multiple uh, sources. And uh, also the report of Amnesty International stated that in 22 out of 29 uh, cases where they investigated, the, um, the Ukrainian placed arms, ammunition and personnel in kindergarten and schools and hospitals. So when you hear, oh, the Russians hit a hospital, those Russians, when the Russians kill, destroyed a kindergarten, oh, those criminals again. I don't know, but that's what the um, Amnesty International found, and obviously everybody's upset that they found that. And they what they do? They call them names. They don't bring counter counter uh, arguments. They just or evidence to counter their argument or their findings. They just call the Amnesty International this and this and this and that. I made a video on that. If you wanna go deeper and find more. Uh, feel free and check it out. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.